What up skaters? Here I am today with my dirty bone Swiss bearings and I'm going to show you how to clean them. <laughs> first things first, we're going to take the bearings out of the wheels. You can use a skate tool. If you don't have a skate tool, you could use pliers or a wrench, but since we have a skate tool, we're going to use that. Keep in mind, you always want to be careful when taking the nut off because you could damage the shield with the skate tool. You don't want to push against the shield as you loosen the nut on the trucks. What I like to do once I have that off is use the axle on my truck as leverage to take the bearing out. I have uh, bone Swiss bearings, best in the business. They're actually designed for skateboarding and only skateboarding, but they can be used for other stuff. Oh, it looks like the tool doesn't fit on this nut because it's damaged from hitting the ground so much, so we're going to have to go with the pliers for this one. What you do is you take your bearings out of your wheels, like so, and you want to have your handy dandy bones bearings cleaning unit equipped with acetone from your local hardware store. All right, so we got the bearings and the wheels off the board. It's time to pop off the shields. What I have here is a nice sharp blade, but some of you may not have that, so you could use a household thumbtack but since I have a blade, I'm gonna use the blade. And you wanna make sure you get in on the inside of the shield, so that way you don't damage the rest of the bearing. And you wanna do it gently so you don't break anything. And boom, there's the inside of a Swiss bearing right there. Why do we take the shields off before putting it in the cleaning unit, which has acetone in it? Well, the acetone damages the rubber on the shield. You don't want to do that. And also, when you take the shield off, the acetone is able to reach the bearings a little easier, and it'll just clean it much better. What we're going to do is open up, and we're going to put the bearings on this guy. The bearing cleaning unit comes with seven individual spacers, which will space out the bearings. You should know that we fill up the bottle with acetone to right below bearing cleaner. It's labeled right there. Now let's put the bearings on this bad boy. You want to put the bearing in before the spacer, and you want to make sure that the open side is facing the lid of the bottle. So that way when you're shaking the acetone around, the acetone will fall through like a waterfall, cleaning everything out. All right, now we're gonna tighten this guy back on. We got the lid on and now we're going to shake it around for maybe 10 seconds and then we're going to take it back off, make sure the bearings are spinning. So 10 seconds, here we go. While I'm doing this, maybe cue Jamie Town County's kickflip into the ditch. That was about 10 seconds. All right, now that we're finished mixing around the acetone. You can see that it got darker, meaning it's full of dirt. Clean the bearings out. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab a paper towel so that way the acetone doesn't get all over the surface of this nice workbench. And we're gonna open up and slowly, easily let them fall off, but we don't want them rolling all over the place. So we're going to do it nice and easy. On the paper towel, they look very clean. 
we have the bearings out and we're going to dry them and you can basically just smack it against the towel like so. We're going to do all that for all eight. And as you can see, there's more dirt off the bearings. And the next step is speed cream. We have this other bottle that we're going to use. And you want to do about two drops for each bearing, about as far away from each other as possible so it can mix through in the entire bearing. So what speed cream does is it lubricates the bearing and then protects it from rusting and overheating. We put two drops about as far away from each other as possible and then we're going to spin the bearing to mix it around. And then we'll do that seven more times. So here's one on this side and we're going to do one on the other side and we're going to spin. We're spinning and we're spinning some more. So the speed cream's done. Now we're going to put the shields on. And when you're putting the shield on, you want to do it from the inner bearing out. Like so, you want to push on the inside and slowly push the shield down till it clicks. And make sure there are no wrinkles in the shield so that way it spins properly. It's time to put them back in the wheels and on our board. So, shield's out. That way the dirt doesn't get in. And you just want to put all your weight into it. There you go. The bearing there. Then the spacer. Then push. There's the first wheel. You want to tighten it down to where you can kind of jiggle it. You hear a little clicking and it's good. You want to be cautious when tightening the nut back on because some people have been known to just slam the skate tool straight into the shield and that'll damage it. But you just want to put it around the nut and let the nut do the work, which will slowly push it down. Now we have our clean Swiss bearings on our board and we are ready to roll.